We're here on the beautiful Las Vegas Strip for another edition of Strip Poker. We're going to talk to a well-known poker professional about being a gambler here in Sin City. Theo, tell us a little bit about life before you moved to Las Vegas and why you decided to come here. Uh, before Las Vegas, uh, I was in college. Uh, I was, you know, in college at Pitt and uh, during that I was playing every, you know, I was playing in all the underground games and uh, when I graduated, I. You know, didn't feel like I wanted to do a nine to five, so I just picked up and moved out here. And um, I've been were you already killing years. the cash games in your hometown? Uh, well, in Pittsburgh uh, College, yeah, I was killing. I was making, you know, you know, making enough to, you know, pay my rent and party and everything. But then, uh, I, uh, you know, when I came out here, I was like broke. Like I came out here with like no money. I was like, I came out. I think I had like twenty eight hundred dollars, literally twenty. And I just took a shot. And I mean, I went broke a couple times, but. How did you build that up? Uh, I first started off just playing small, like two five cash, two five no cash games at the win. I mean, grinding it every day, like every day. It was like a thing where I uh, I played for literally like a whole month straight, it was thirty days straight. I played at the win, like two five no limit or fifteen thirty and like five ten no limit when I took a shot. And it was like thirty days in a row that I I, ha I didn't have a losing session. And then the day I finally had a losing session. Uh, some other bad things happened like later on too, so I won't get into that. But uh, it was, you know, but I mean, like, like those were the grinding days. Now it's been a little more, you know, I don't have to do that anymore. But um, you know, like, how did you get into playing bigger tournaments? Um, actually, I, uh, I mean, went to the LAPC with my roommates, and um, I took a shot at the uh, one five hundred dollar rebuy, and uh, I ended up winning it. So I got like hundred k for that, and then. From then on, I just started playing tournaments, and then, uh, you know, I mean, you know, with my, like, horrible money management, my, like, crazy, like, lifestyle, I, uh, you know, I've gotten broke a few times, but... You've been on kind of a roller coaster, you mean? Yeah, like, I mean, I'm always, I like to live my life, like, you know, crazy, and, you know, it's not the best way Do you way gamble to other than poker? Oh, of course. <laughs> that's why, that's, that's why I'm broke all the time, but, uh... You know, I'm trying. Does it have to do with living in the city at all? Do you oh, think? for sure. Oh, for sure. Yeah. I mean, like when I go to LA, like it's you know that's why I kind of I'm thinking about you know getting a place out there too because the cash games out there are so sick, and I don't really play here that much as it is anymore. So I mean, the games are tougher here. Like the higher limit games are pretty tough here. So and besides that, I mean, I just out here in Vegas, I mean it's it's not called Sin City for nothing, you know. Like, so do you feel like it gets you in trouble? Oh, for sure. Yeah, for sure. I mean. Like what me and my friends do, it's, you know, we go out every night, and, you know. The party life is pretty good in Las Vegas. Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, it's the best the best party town, you know, that's where people come, you know, but, uh. Well, you, you know. mentioned your friends. When you went broke those few times, did they help you out, try to get you back yeah, on your that's, feet? Yeah, it's the poker world. I mean, uh, you're good friends, you know, you're good friends that trust you. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's how it is. It's like a, it's like a, I don't know how to explain, uh. I don't know, my friends, you know, that They know how you good you yeah, are. Yeah, yeah, so, they, you know, they don't mind loaning me when I'm running bad, but they also get mad when I'm dropping, like, 20 dimes and, you know, playing blackjack in, like, you know, like, one session, you know. It's, but, I mean, it's... Whenever whenever I went broke, it was like, you know, I would was really it, focus on... Was it hard to grind things. back? Yeah. Playing such high limits, big tournaments, and then having to go back to playing, like, a 2-5 or... Oh, five it's very five. hard, but, I mean, I never really did that. <laughs> like, I was just... You know, I would just do what I had to to get into a tournament, and then I did, and, you know, eventually I would hit a score each time. Like, if you, like, look at my record, it's like, I go in certain gaps. Like, I don't play, like, that much. Like, I play when I need money, and it's like, so I'll go in, like, little, like, spurts. But, uh, you know, I'm when trying to get it, better about it. When you need it, do you feel like you can dig down and dig deep and play the best poker? Oh, yeah, of course. When I really, that's what everybody says about me. Like, when I'm really hurting, like, it's when I play my best, and that's when you don't want to play with me. You know, I feel like when I'm most focused. And like, you see it now, like after I hit a score, like, you know, I'll play tournaments and then it's like, that's when you want to play with me because I'm really playing bad usually. I'm, you know, I'm not for, you know, it's, but now I'm trying to get better about it. I'm really trying to take it seriously and I want to be, you know, like, I want to get up there to the status of like millions, you know, mm -hmm. like, so. Do you feel like you're going to stop playing blackjack and crap? I hope so, but probably not just because I'm just... You know, it's just, it's, you know, I'm a po that's why I'm a poker player, you know, like, it's that, you know, that thing in me, it's like, you know. So, do you think a lot of other poker players go through the same things, oh, of losing their money gambling? I mean, everybody that sees the stuff on TV, you see these people, you don't know what they, I mean, it's, you know, 
There's people that you think are millionaires and they're dead broke, you know, and it's because exact reason. It's the pit. I mean, it's a sickness, but, you know, you have to learn to deal with it. And uh, so far, I haven't done the best, but, uh, you know, I mean, you know, we'll see. Uh, I'm hoping uh, I've learned my lesson, but, I mean, from now, I mean, I still, I still play in the pit, but, uh, you know, because it's the action you want, you know, it's, but uh, I'm trying to focus more on, like, my career now, you know, and uh, I'm starting to travel and play more, so, you know, like, st st sitting in Vegas, like, you get caught up in the lifestyle and, you know, the parties and, you know, the pit, and, uh, it's, you know, it's not, everybody's like, why don't you just take that 20000 and go play, you know, like, 200, 400, you know, well, it's not the same, it's, you know, because it's, like, black right there, like, you got that action craps, it's, you know, you, why, why else do you Instant play? Instant gratification yeah. yes, or... Yes, exactly, exactly. It's or devastation. So yeah, well, that's what I do, that's, that's what everyone says, why can't you play, you know, like, for $25 a hand? Well, it's because, you know, I need the action, I need the kill, I need it to hurt, I need it to hit big, you know, and that's what's made me gone broke so many times, so, I mean, I'm not, I'm, 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 I'm telling you guys about it, but I'm honestly not proud about it, you know, it's, I'm an idiot. It's something you know? a lot of players go through. What would be the best advice you could give a player who wants to move to Las Vegas and make it as a poker player? Don't ever play in the pit. Just don't even start. <laughs> it don't even start. Because as soon as I learned craps, that was the end of me. That really was. And I mean, I, st I slowed down on the craps, but now it's like black. You know, it's, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. I mean, I'm trying to, like I said, I'm really trying to focus on my career now, like my poker career. And, um, well, you just recently had a, and, you um, just recently had a second place at the World Series of Poker. Yeah, that was that was a big score for me. Uh, so I mean, you think things are on the right track now? Yeah, I mean, like I, like I said, whenever I needed money, that's like when I really dig down and really focus. And I do whatever I can to get into that tournament. You know, I just grind whatever. That's I mean, like I live a pretty. It's like crazy. It's like I'm not that guy that like would play and save up my money and then then start playing. I I played. You know, I did whatever I could online or whatever, and then I got my got whatever money I needed for the buy-in, and that was it. And I, that's how I lived my life. You know, it's, I'd hit a score, and then I'd still live crazy and go out every night and. Look Are you a party money. guy? Oh, Blow yeah, some money at Pure. I, I, you can't live. You can't like. There's no reason to live in Vegas if you don't party. Mm -hmm. like, you know, like, I, I mean, I don't is that your favorite thing about living in Vegas? Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, the, the free. Oh, I love I love Vegas. And, I mean, you know, because I'm a poker player. I love, I love to party, but then the freedom I have here too, I mean, like, I can wake up, you know, like, I could, if I go, to, you know, I don't have to go to bed, like, I go to, I, I go to bed at 7 a.m., I watch Saved by the Bell one morning, and then, you know, and then I pass out, you know, like, uh, if it's 2 a.m. and I'm tired, like, but I, I don't feel like doing anything and I want to go play, I could go here and play some 1-2, one, like, you know, like, you know, like, well, the 1-2 game's not always going, but, but, uh, you know, I mean, like, whatever, like, there's always a game going, you know, so, like, you just... It, it's a great, it's a great town. I love it. I'm never gonna leave. Like after living, after being on the East Coast all my life, and then being out here on the West, like it's like I'm done. I'm like I'm never gonna move back. Like this is my life. Here, so. What's the craziest thing that you've ever done in Las Vegas? Oh God, I can't, man. I don't want to. <laughs> I'd, I'd rather not see on camera. And then I don't do stuff like everyone's like, oh, hookers and stuff. I like I don't do that shit. Like I mean, I go to strip clubs and stuff. You know, we go to like after hours clubs and stuff. But like, no, like it's not. Well, this much. is strip poker. This, this segment is called Chip Poker. All right, well, uh, you know, where do we go? <laughs> go ahead, take off your shirt. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, uh, we part, you know, we, I don't know. It's like, and also my friends, you know, my friends party too, so. Your I friends guess, like Las Vegas too? I guess they're bad influences on me, you know, but, uh, and, uh, yeah, I mean, that's why we live here, you know, like, we play poker for a living, we party, we do what we want, and, uh, you know, that's the lifestyle I've adapted to, but you, uh, I mean, some people, it's just not for some people, you know? Mm -hmm. it, it, it might not even be for me. I mean, look at me. I go, I've gone broke, like, so many times just because, you know, I've, I've been irresponsible, you know? I've, I've cared more about partying and, and you know, fulfilling my, like, need for, like, the kill, you know, on the pit than, you know, than grinding it and saving my money and, like, you know, like, just putting, you know, pu putting money away. Like, now I'm trying to be smart about it, you know? I'm investing my money and stuff, but... Well, you're I'm young. Still, you I, can uh, have fun. It's been pretty bad since the World Series and the pits already, so I don't know. Uh, no, I'm going to have to hit a score soon again, so <laughs> but we'll see. But, uh, like I well, said, where can we see you next? Where, what are you going to play in? Uh, I'm going to be going home. Uh, I'm going to play the Brigada. I'm going to try and hit the 5K and then the main event there. And then uh, go to London for EPT, EPT London main event there. And then after, I'm not sure. I want to do Aruba, but I don't know if I have enough time in London to there. But, but yeah, those are the two... Uh, 
two main events I'll be playing that. And like now I can, now I'm gonna like I never played main events before, you know? I never went for that two million score. I was always playing these smaller buttons because I never, you know like I said, I hit a score and then instead of spending fifty K on on, you know, tournament buttons, I was spending fifty K on strippers and going out every night. <laughs> but Well I feel a big one of these is tournaments is gonna be a big score. So Oh I hope so. Hopefully. I, I believe so, so that's why I'm that's why I'm gonna play, you know, like more. And then after that, once you score two million, right. right. once you score two million, then we'll go skydiving or something, yeah, and then sure. that I'll could be you your. Uh... I'll take you guys all. Out. <laughs> I'll take the whole car player out. To, you know, I'll buy you guys each lap. Yeah, <laughs> Thanks, Theo Tran, for stopping by. That's it for this edition of Strip Poker. Now I feel like getting into some trouble while I'm down here on Las Vegas Strip. So I'll see you later. I'm Christina for Car Player TV. I'll see you at the poker tables.